What's up guys, Iovo here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own 3D logo using only Photoshop and it's actually really cool. Now before we begin, be sure to leave a like down below and with that being said, let's get started. I'm gonna keep this video as uncut as possible so you guys can follow along and make your own logo easily and apply it to other logos as well. So you'll always have the scale on making 3D logos and it should be really simple. Now the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and go to file, new and create our project file. Now in my case, I'm using a 1080p file, so I'm keeping it 1920 by 1080. But if you're making a profile picture or something, you can change the dimensions to like 500 by 500 or anything you want. And we're going to make the background contents white and click OK. So as you can see, my layer is right here. And we're going to go ahead and double click on the background just so it unlocks and becomes a regular layer. Now the next step is to go ahead and add your own logo to this background layer. Now I don't have a logo so I got one off Google and I'm going to go to file and place and place my 2D lion logo. And this is what I'm going to be using for my logo. We're going to press the check mark and if you want to align it you can press control A, go to layers, align layers to selection and align it vertically and then go ahead and repeat the steps but align it horizontally and then press control D and it's going to be aligned. Now, I'm not going to be working with this yellow line. I'm going to make it black and make it completely visible for you guys. So I'm going to right click on the line layer, go to blending options, go to color overlay, and then we're going to make it black. Oh, this is gradient overlay, my bad. There we go, color overlay, make it black, press OK, press OK. And our 2D work is already done. It's time to go ahead and make this logo 3D. So the next step is to go ahead and right click on your logo and click on new 3D extrusion and it's going to make everything 3D and if you notice it's going to make your workspace 3D as well. Now going through these five layers, the first two layers are actually going to be the front of your logo and the next three layers are going to be the back slash the lighting of your logo. So before we make any changes to the logo, we're going to make a change to the background really quickly. So we're going to go ahead and select layer zero and we can see our logo. It looks kind of messy right now, but we're going to make sure we have 3D postcard selected under the 3D tab and we're going to press create to make the background a 3D postcard layer. Now going back to the 2D line la uh, layer, you want to go ahead and select the first two layers by pressing on the first one, pressing shift and clicking on the second one, and we're going to change the colors. Now if you don't have the properties tab already, go to window and click on properties. And this tab is going to pop up. You're going to click the box that says diffuse and you're going to select your background color. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my line orange like so and click on OK. And my line is actually orange. You can't tell right now, but if you uncheck this eye, it will turn orange. But we can't just uncheck this. Instead, we're going to go ahead and double click on this layer and it's going to open up the layer in a separate tab. And then we're going to uncheck this eye and we're going to press Control S to save it. And when we go back to the original file, this black line should be gone and it's going to be orange. Now, if you want to change the back three colors and the lighting, just press the third layer and press shift and press the fourth and fifth layer. Go to diffuse and we're going to make it yellow. So let's select not too bright, but this yellow should be good. Press OK. And once we're done, we're basically done working with the whole 3D uh the 3D workspace because we have the colors selected. You can also change the shine, the reflection, the roughness, and anything else you want, but I usually keep it the way it is, or maybe change the shine of the background a little bit more, maybe make it like 40%. And then once we're done with the 3D workspace, we're gonna go ahead and click on this layer, press shift, click on the background postcard layer, and press control E. And it's gonna combine the layers and create this shape as you can see and we're not done yet next step is to go to 3d and press render and render this shape now this will take some time i would say a few minutes but just be patient don't click on anything and just let it render out and soon your 3d shape will be ready to work with 
Okay, so once your actual logo has finished rendering, the blue circle will stop spinning. Now mine took a bit longer than expected, so it took about 10 minutes. And once you're done, go ahead and change this workspace from 3D back to the essentials, which is your normal workspace. You also wanna go ahead, right click on the layer and convert it to a smart object. And once you've converted it to a smart object, right click it again and click on rasterize layer. Now I've already done all of that, so I'm good to go. And the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can go ahead and actually change different colors of the logo if you really wanted to. So say for example, I wanted to make the, the lion mane a different color. I select the magic wand tool, press on the outside of the shape, hold shift and select the rest of the main color of the lion mane, like so. And once I have it selected, I'm going to create a new layer and press control backspace. And this new layer is going to have my lion mane. I can right click, go to blending options, go to color overlay and then make it whatever color I like. So say I wanted to make the main a bit darker. I could just do so by changing the color, press OK. And now it's more of an orange color, like a darker orange color. And then if I press Ctrl D, you can see the main has changed its color. Now I can also do other things such as change the nose color if I wanted to. I can go ahead and click on the nose. Wait, let me go back to the original layer. I can click on the nose. I can create a new layer and I can press control backspace. Go ahead, right click, go to blending options and make the nose brown, for example. So let me just go ahead and select a browner color and it'll just change accordingly like so. And as you can see, everything is changing just like I wanted to. And my logo is complete. Now, if you want, you can once again combine all of, th all of these by pressing shift and then right clicking and converting it to a smart object again. And you can add your own effects to this actual lion or whatever logo you have. You can click on this circle tool and you can change the hue slash saturation. So if you want the colors to pop a bit more, you can just up the saturation levels and the shadow will change as well. If you want to change the color completely, you can mess with the hues but we're gonna keep it just the way they are and that is good. You can also go ahead and change the color curves. So if you make the top a little bit higher and the bottom a little bit lower, you can see it'll start to pop a little bit more. Now I don't really change this too much, but you can see the difference it makes in the actual logo. And the logo is popping a lot, it's very bright. And you can just adjust any other settings that you want. So you can also change the vibrance, you can make it black and white. But another useful tool is the brightness slash contrast. So I'm going to lower the contrast a little bit of this logo and also lower the brightness a little bit because I prefer the darker look. And to me, that looks a lot better. But yeah, you can just mess around with that. And when you're done, click on file, save as, and save it as a PNG. So we're just going to save this as logo final and we're done. Now, if you wanted to have a different background, you always could, but I just stuck with the white background. But that's better for this video, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.